Let's talk about how to start a script at startup. Usually, a Raspberry Pi ends up behind a magic mirror, plugged to a plant, or inside a cake. And the last thing you want to do is to find a keyboard monitor and mouse, connect to your Pi to start your script again. So let's make your script start on its own every time you plug your Raspberry Pi to power. There are several ways to do this, but I'm going to focus on only one because that's the one that I use and works well. Let's learn something. To start a script at startup, open the terminal on your Pi and type sudo contab-e. You'll see a whole bunch of comments. Go all the way to the bottom and type add reboot python the path to your script and an ampersand. It's just telling you to do it when you start your Pi and you're running a Python script and the path is where you save your script. And the ampersand is so that your script doesn't stop other things from your Pi running. To save, do Ctrl X, then Y, and then enter. And you're done. Now you can test it. I like testing with an LED. That way I can see exactly when the script is running. And it also makes for a better user experience with your project. Fun fact! The Raspberry Pi is a Linux computer, so this actually works with any Linux computer, if you have one. Here is a trick for the lazy. If you never ever want to do this again, and you're going to be using your Raspberry Pi for a lot of different projects, create a folder in your desktop and put the file that you'll want to run a startup there. Go back to your terminal and type sudo contact-e, and instead of pointing directly to the file, you can change to the folder and end it with a star.py. The star means that any file that you put in that folder will run a startup. I decided to use crontab-e because RC Local has actually been deprecated by Red Hat. For a more robust solution, you can use init.d or sysv, but um, it takes longer to set up and crontab works well, so I picked that one. And we're done! Over to you, Teddy, with the um, 